the final step, the assembly of the main shaft, is uh, connecting the input shaft to the output shaft. Uh, well, not connecting, uh, fixing it, uh, because they are not connected. They only they are only connected when the fourth gear is engaged. So we have uh, twelve bearings. Um, <laughs> And uh, you have to place them uh, around this uh, this place here, so that they are on the border. And then they will have to fix this this part will have to fit in here with the bearings around. So uh, we will have to use a multi multi-purpose grease for this. I'll be using uh, some axle grease to uh, hold the um, the bearings on the outside of this. Uh, of the input shaft and then uh, carefully inserting the input shaft into the output shaft to have all the bearings properly aligned let's see if I can get some more light in here okay so what I'll be doing is uh, let's open this up There are 12 bearings. We'll be using the grease as glue, sort of glue. And uh, just I'll be dipping these in grease and then placing it there. I think that all 12 of them will hold each other after after I'm finished with them um, since they have grease. Let's see. System. You see the, the way I'm placing this around the the border. Well, this is how, how I figured this would be, but uh, the manual is not explicit about this. Try to keep them aligned because if you do not, the last ones will be real bad. I'm sorry for the for my uh, snorting, but I am um, I just got a cold, so you see how they are starting to become arranged around that uh, that place. Well, only three remain. See, the last one is not well, so it does not fit. So I have to rearrange these guys. So here are all the bearings. Uh, they are all assembled and uh, greased up. So I just have to insert the fourth gear synchronizer. There it goes, and uh, align it with the shift key, and that's it. That's the full, the full main shaft uh, assembly. Input shaft, output shaft. Now we'll be putting this into the into the casing. Okay, if you're like me, you will forget to. Place the uh, the speedometer gear. See the correct orientation for this um, for this uh, for the speedometer driven gear is this way. First a ring, then a gear, then the second ring. Now in place. Okay. So there 
is... Now, we have to install the counter gear. And the counter gear is somewhere around here. This counter gear, I have a story for this. Uh, there is a, a holding ring on the end of this uh, counter gear, and uh, when I, when I took it out, it, uh, it was damaged. So I uh, I had to <laughs> I had to, to go around to my Toyota dealer and uh, ask for the, back, the the ring. And the ring was very very. Was uh, it's no longer uh, made, so they had to go around the warehouse and find this for me. I was very happy when I got it uh, because I could not find this uh, this size of uh, ring. So my advice to you is, when you're removing the rings from the gearbox, be very careful. Do not damage them. Do not bend them in any way, because they he will be in a lot of uh, trouble to find a new a new ring. As you can see by the look of this tag, this has been sitting around in the warehouse for like 20 years. So I was indeed very lucky. Okay, so now with the ring in place, let's then put the counter here into the case. We have to align uh, a sphere that's in the center bearing. We have to align it with a groove in the case. There it is. Okay, so the gears are meshing well together, so I think 